Hi, I'm Ron Kasabian. I'm here today to talk to you about how Intel is driving analytics across different industries. Pervasive analytics and insights is the ability to take large amounts of different types of data, bring them together, and understand correlations that I couldn't normally see in the data if I was looking at it singularly. You look at the, the enterprises that are investing in this today and uh, the ways that big data is being applied, things like smart cities and the ability to be able to capture traffic information and pollution information and noise information from sensors. For retailers, it's about two things, understanding my consumer behavior and making sure I have the right products for the right people at the right time. And for companies that are designing new products, it's all about accelerating that product design performance using high-performance computing platforms, running very complex models and simulations. For an IT organization that has to be able to support this new infrastructure, what we need to do is bring together a suite of tools that allow people to interact and manage the data in a much more streamlined and simplified way. And they've got to be able to run these new tools in concert with the traditional existing tools. The challenge for organizations today is how to deal with this new big data and analytics environment. Those challenges can be boiled down into four big things. Number one, security. Do I have the ability to acquire and store the data in a secure way? Number two, do I have systems that are performant enough to be able to process the data? Number three, do I have systems and applications that are scalable enough to be able to grow with the data as the data grows? And then number four is the complexity. Can I simplify the environment so that it's much less complicated to implement and use these tools? Yeah, Intel's addressing some of the security issues by implementing AES&I security, which is silicon-based encryption that allows data to be encrypted significantly faster, almost with no performance overhead. In the area of performance, if you look at uh, what Intel's doing across our platforms, with each new generation of compute, network, and storage solutions, we're really driving improvements into what's required to deal with these new analytics workloads. And in the area of scalability, one of the things Intel's doing is we deliver a set of capabilities, for example, our Xeon E3, 5, and 7 series that allow you to grow your capabilities and your capacity as your needs grow and as your data grows. And really what we need to do in the complexity space is take away that need for programming and allow the data scientists to focus on what they're good at, which is understanding the data, looking for correlations, building algorithms, and creating models. Intel's real role here is to bring together this whole ecosystem of hardware and software vendors and data scientists to actually use analytics to deliver good and valuable solutions for people and for enterprises. So in the area of analytics, we're really trying to drive costs down and drive performance up. And we're doing this by working with the ecosystem to provide integrated platforms that allow you to have more memory capacity, higher network bandwidth, and lower latency storage solutions. And in general, in the open source ecosystem, we're constantly contributors to the Hadoop and to the Spark and Storm and Shark and all these new platforms that are emerging to deal with um, big data applications. We're making them better performant, making sure they take advantage of all that Intel hardware platforms have to offer. In the future, three, five years from now, there's no question in my mind that analytics is going to be the number one application in the data center. Imagine a world where you never have to take your car in for service because it services it. Itself. Imagine a world where you go into the doctor and when you walk in, he knows what's wrong with you and prescribes the right medication for you. Imagine a world where we can predict storms and natural disasters with a much higher degree of accuracy and get people out of harm's way much sooner. The opportunity to be able to have a significant impact on mankind is, is huge and quite frankly, it's why I'm so passionate and why I spend all my time I'm working in this area of big data and analytics. If you'd like to learn more about big data and analytics, go to intel.com slash ITCenter.